So she didn't just break glass ceilings for women in journalism. She absolutely shattered them and continues to do so, especially for Latina journalists. Yet for Teresa Rodriguez, none of her accolades or accomplishments come close to the fulfillment granted to her by being a mother. ABC's Victor Akendo just so happens to share a very special bond with Rodriguez and sat down with her for this very special Mother's Day inspired story. I got into TV totally by accident. I wanted to be a criminal attorney. But the year I graduated, um, I received an award. It was a Wall Street Journal, Outstanding Excellence in Economics. Actually, I never majored in journalism. I got a phone call from the Nightly Business Report, which was a national business program on PBS, and they offered me a job as a reporter. I guess the man upstairs had other plans. For more than 20 years, journalist Teresa Rodriguez was the co-anchor of Univision's primetime news magazine program, Aquí y Ahora, Here and Now. She's interviewed everyone from politicians to royalty to celebrities. I respect what I call the art of listening. When we interview someone, we may have all these questions, we've done our research, but you've got to listen. And that's key in a great interview because that person may say something you weren't even ready for. You've been there for so many important moments in history. What sticks out to you? History, I would say the fall of the Berlin Wall. I do have a chunk here, I was there. It was very powerful for me because being born in Cuba, I kept thinking about how this was a barrier that was made by man that separated the free world from this communist country and communist bloc, and yet we were so close, living in Miami to Cuba, but it was a natural barrier. It was an ocean, right, that separated us. So it was very emotional for me. Born in Havana, Cuba, her family moved to Miami when she was just nine months old. She would go on to attend Hialeah High School, then graduate from Barry University. Rodriguez joined Univision in 1982 as co-anchor of the national newscast, becoming the first woman ever to host a national primetime Spanish-language newscast in the United States and the first Latina to ever sit on the chair of an evening newscast. Four years later, marrying Tony Okendo, an executive at Univision, they had two sons, myself and my brother Julian. Right, you but were the... almost born on the set Tell me about of it. the new news here in Miami, okay? Because I happened? was getting tell us the story. I, I I could I could tell. I said, Oh my goodness, I'm getting contractions. And and it, they were getting closer and closer. And my co-anchor at the time, Bob Mayer, looks at me because I would do this while he was reading. And we went to commercial break and he said, Teresa, are you having the baby now? And I said, No, it's fine. They're still not. No, give it if they're if they're like 15 seconds apart, then I should go. Of course, the hospital was maybe 10 minutes away. And he said, no, I think you should leave now. And I said, no, I will finish the newscast. And I did. And you were born a few hours later, by the way. You guys raised me basically running throughout the halls of Univision. Were you at all surprised when I told you I wanted to go into broadcast journalism? I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised. Uh, You also, I feel, have the personality for it. Um, And you grew up around it. I am very proud of you. And I watch every story, and I'm not going to get teary, <laughs> but um, well, I watch like- and I record, and you know how it is, and we talk afterward many times, but um, no, I wasn't surprised. In 2002, heartbreak hit our family hard. My dad passed away from a heart attack. It's one of the most devastating losses someone can go through in their lives. You have two young boys. I was 15 at the time. Julian was 10, my little brother, and you have a very demanding job traveling all over the world. How did you keep that ship straight? We were surrounded by a lot of angels on earth who made it possible. I did request, I said I cannot travel for a while because I have to be home for them. And um, I, I did stories that were local just so that I could be with you. I've always been one to think about priorities and what they are, but this, when your dad passed away, it made it very clear what my priorities were. Yes, I was a journalist, I had a career, but above all of that, I was a mom. Years later, my mom would find love again, marrying neurosurgeon Dr. Alan Levy in 2014. She's broken barriers and opened doors for many women in media. She's won 15 Emmys, has been recognized with the George Foster Peabody, she's an author, and much more. All of this while remaining authentically her. 
You have to be proud of your roots. You have to be proud of your culture, of your language, of your heritage, of your customs. And that's something else that I tell a lot of young people today who are aspiring to be journalists. Don't try to be someone else. Be yourself. And don't forget where you come from. And be proud. Be honest. Be transparent. The lens captures more than you think. It knows when you're talking from the heart. People, especially young women, you know, you've been an inspiration to them. They've followed you for so long. Your advice to anyone who either wants to get into this business or just, you know, entering the professional workforce today. Any uh, advice or guidance? Number one, have a backup plan. Because many times we may think we want to do something, but when we actually get there, we say, maybe this is not what I like. Maybe I want to do something else. Have a backup plan. Number two, if you can intern and you can do some work and actually be part of the process of whatever it is, do it because it's great practice and you'll really learn, do I want to do this or not? And I remind them that this is not a nine to five job and always be prepared. Be prepared, do your homework, be honest, be very honest and upfront with people. And something else, when you do, I always say, when you do get to a certain point in your life, don't forget to pay it forward. And don't forget to go back and thank those people who were a part of your success. For all her success, she'll always be mom to me. Any message you have to the moms out there? For the moms, hug your kids, tell them you love them, tell them as often as you want, because there will be a time when they say, like the first time I dropped you off at school and you were embarrassed, don't hug me in front of my friends. You hug them anyway. Um, I regret that, no. You do? Of course. Well, yeah. I hug you every time I see you anyway. Um, I think it is the best job I've ever had, being a mom. Because you know what? I will always be a mom to the day I die, and you will always be my babies. Love you, Mom. My goodness, thank you, Victor, and to your amazing mom on this Mother's Day weekend. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.